Hey guys, and welcome to the Ultimate Stepic tutorial. You're about to embark on a multi-part course that will show you the ropes of using Stepic. If you've ever wondered what each feature in Stepic does, then you've come to the right place. So I'm John, I teach sound design and create synthesizer tutorials over on my YouTube channel, John Audio. If you'd like to learn more about me, there's a link to my info down in the description below. So this course is a collaboration between Device Meister and myself. Our goal is to provide you with a comprehensive guide to all of Stepic's functionalities. By the end of the course, you'll be well equipped to use Stepic in your own projects and bring your musical ideas to life. In this first part, I'll give you a quick rundown of what Stepic can do, what Stepic is, and from the second episode onward, we're going to dive deep into each section and feature and break them down into detail. So if you'd like, feel free to load up your own project with Stepic as we go along. This will allow you to directly apply the knowledge you gain throughout the course. So with that being said, let's dive into Stepic and make something cool in F minor. So Stepic by itself doesn't generate sound, what happens is that it receives MIDI information, it will sequence that information and send it to our synth or our sampler of choice. So in this case, we're going to be using Hive, and this is going to be the patch that we're using here. So it's just a quick note, it goes in and it goes out, and we're using Stepic to control that. So. Now this is a very basic patch here to kind of get you in the mood of using Stepic. So the first one here, these first green sliders are going to basically be our pitch here. So if we're in F natural minor, what we can do is we can always randomize this sequence here and we can play one note and it's gonna play these notes in sequence. So let's say we don't like this sequence here and we want something a little bit different. We can always hit the randomize a few times until we find something that we like. So let's say that this is something that we like, but we want to change a couple notes. So maybe let's bring these here back down to the root note here so we can do that for these top ones here. And let's see how that sounds. Okay, cool. So let's say we like these notes that we have chosen, but we don't necessarily want them to play in sequence. We kind of want them to be randomized. So what we can do is we can click this other dice here and check this out. Pretty cool. So moving on from here, we have the red sliders, which are going to correspond to the octaves. So we have a value of negative two and positive two. So let's say, for example, we want step four to go up one octave, step eight to go down one octave, and then maybe step 12 to go up one octave, something like that, and see how that sounds. We have the same functionality. We can randomize these sliders here or we can randomize which step gets triggered here. So that's totally up to you how you want to use that. Next up here, we have the duration. So think of this as a gate. So in this case right here, we're not really gonna notice a difference because this pluck here is already pretty quick. It's pretty fast. So what we can do is we can increase our sustain on our amp and on our filter here. We have something kind of like that. So now once we go back in here to Stempic, if we have something like this here. There's a lot of overlap between the notes, and this is something where this duration will come in handy. So we can right-click these blue sliders and bring them all down together. So take a listen to how this changes the sound here. Mm -hmm. 
so we have more of a plucky sound. So going back over here into Hive, let's bring our sustain down quite a bit here as well. And this as well, I just kind of want to show you what that feature is there. So let's do some hold down shift and we can always move our mouse here to kind of change stuff on the fly for very quick changes, something kind of like that. And let's do the same thing that we did on the pitch and kind of just randomize whichever step gets triggered. Okay, so the next thing that you can see here is velocity. Now this one is gonna be very important because if everything's the same velocity for every single step, it's gonna, sta it's gonna sound a little bit robotic. So what we need to do is kind of change these and randomize these sliders here. But before we get into that, there's something I do want to mention is that depending on the synth or the sampler that you're using, some of them will have the velocity on the amplifier turned off by default, so you might want to turn that on. So in Hive here, as you can see on our amp, we have velocity over here at 100%, so we know that it is working. So with that being said, let's dive here back into Stepic and kind of give some random values here, something kind of like this here. So every step isn't necessarily going to be the same velocity to kind of give a little bit more of a human feel. Now, what's, up, what's really cool with this for velocity, if we have this sequence going over and over and over again, maybe our brains can pick up that this velocity is going is basically in a sequence. So that's why something like this dice is going to be very useful because it's going to trigger random steps and it's never going to be the same sequence, but we're still going to be getting different values. And next up, we have swing here. We can either do this per step or up here on the pattern swing. However, I did want to show you what this would sound like here. So let's put this up to 50 or a couple of these up to 50 and take a listen. Maybe bring this down to 25, this one down to zero, maybe this one 25 here. And let's hit this dice again so it's random every single time. Something like that is really nice too because it kind of just breaks up the rhythm a little bit and kind of gives it a little bit of swing, right? And we really only need one or two of these sliders here to kind of really make something stand out. So moving on from here, we have the divider, which is really cool to change some timing here. So right now, once we listen to this, let's actually re remove our swing now so it's kind of a little bit distracting. So on our divider, we can put this step here on seven. Let's put this up to two. Let's go to three. So this is a really cool thing where we can put this on two for this one and maybe two for this one as well and do the overall randomness to kind of break it up a little bit as well. And this is such a cool tool because we can create a lot of sequences and by using a lot of randomness in kind of targeted areas, we can really make sequences sound fresh all the time and not so repetitive so our brains kind of tune them out. So that's a very cool thing we hear within Stepic. Next up, we have note repeat here. So for this divider, let's bring these down for now so we can kind of see what's going on here. So for step six, let's go for three here. So as it says, it's repeating these notes. And again, this is something kind of nice. Maybe we can put this on two and maybe this one here as well on two and then bring back our divider, something like this two and then maybe two and then put the randomness on here as well. Let's see how that sounds like with the music. If you 
don't want to play this as a sequencer, but want to play this as an ARP, you can totally do that as well. It does have arpeggio functionality. So we can just trash can all these notes here and then play an ARP here, which we're going to go into the settings a little bit later on through the course. But I do want you to know that that is a possibility. So the possibilities within Stepic are quite endless. So hopefully you learned something in the next video and throughout the entire course, we're gonna be going deep into every feature and detail and you're gonna, re you're gonna have a good time learning Stepic. So thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.